this virus is not going to disappear from the planet anytime soon. If people were not gathering, if sick people were not going to work or school, if people were getting tested when they were sick, if people were wearing masks, we would not be in this position. It's not like the virus has changed. So now fatigue has set in, people are starting to lose some resilience, the weather's changing, we're all coming inside, we're all very close to one another. You know, that, that's, a really bad, uh, that's a really bad combination. COVID is just hitting its, uh, what's the phrase, catching its third wind. Second wind here, but third wind from a country perspective. And it's gonna be the, the worst one, unfortunately. Um, this is not going to be get your vaccine and take your mask off. You know, we have 320 million people in the United States. It's going to take time. That's a huge milestone is to develop the vaccine, but you still got to manufacture it, ship it, get it to places where they administer vaccines. People have to line up. They have to get vaccinated. They need to get vaccinated a second time. There are a lot of vaccines in the childhood and adult immunization schedule that are multi-dose vaccines. And people get the doses that they need to be protected and it, it's, uh, it's routine, it happens all the time. So I'm not, you know, I'm not concerned that someone's gonna need to get more than one dose of a vaccine. Um, I am not going to say that it's going to be the silver bullet because the optimal plan would be to have a safe and efficacious vaccine in combination with masking, <laughs> physical distance like we have, uh, not coming to school or work uh, if you're sick, even mildly sick, and really getting away from these large gatherings. You know, So magic bullet, no. Uh, incredibly effective tool if we use it in combination with public health interventions, absolutely. The numbers that the CEO of Pfizer quoted was 50 million doses by the end of this calendar year and 1.5 billion doses by next year. It's gonna take time. So although I think that there could be a significant rollout of vaccine by the first or second quarter of next calendar year, I think it's gonna go well into the third quarter or into the fourth quarter before a huge percentage of the population um, has been offered the opportunity to be, to be vaccinated. <laughs> this is not gonna be, oh, you know, January hits, everyone's gonna line up and then uh, it's gonna go back to normal. It's not gonna be like that.